Last week, you learned how to multiply whole numbers by fractions. This week, we're going to move on and multiply fractions by fractions, but before we can do that, let's start with a review problem. The problem says a zoo has 50 animals, and one-fifth of the animals in the zoo are reptiles. So how many of those animals are reptiles in that zoo? So go ahead and pause the video right now and solve that problem. Hopefully you paused the video and you've solved the problem. But let's go ahead and solve it together. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up my problem. 50 times 1 fifth. Now, when you learned it last week, there were two options that you could use. Our first option, we could write out 1 fifth plus 1 fifth all the way 50 times. But that's not really practical, so we're not going to use this option. Our other option was to change our whole number into a fraction. In this case, 50 equals 50 over 1, and then continue our problem. When I do this, then I would multiply my two numerators together. 50 times 1 gives me 50, and I would multiply my two denominators together. 1 times 5 gives me 5. I would then simplify by dividing them both by 5, and simplify again because 10 over 1 equals 10. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on to fraction by fraction. So let's keep looking at that same zoo. This zoo has one-fifth of its employees who are zookeepers, and one-third of the zookeepers are girls. So we want to know how many of the employees are girl zookeepers. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to set up my problem. So I have one-fifth times one-third. I've also included a fraction circle here that's going to help us to solve this problem. One-fifth was our first number that we were multiplying, our first fraction we were multiplying. So the fraction circle is set up as one-fifth. I have five whole parts and one that's colored in. To multiply it by one-third, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to mark lines dividing that one-fifth into thirds. And then I'm going to go ahead and color in my one-third that are girls. So remember at this point, my one-fifth represents how many zookeepers there are, and that one-third within the one-fifth are girl zookeepers. But I want to know the whole zoo, how many are girl zookeepers. So I'm going to go ahead and split up the rest of the areas into thirds. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and count how many areas, and I'm going to start with my girl zookeepers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen represents my whole or my denominator, and one of those was colored in. So one fifteenth of the Employees at this zoo are girl zookeepers. So let's go ahead and move on to some more problems. This next problem, I want you to go ahead and do it on your own, but we've already given you your fraction circle, so I want you to go ahead and pause the video now and solve this problem. Hopefully you pause the video and you have this problem solved, so let's work it out together. One-eighth times one-third. So our fraction circle was broken up into our eighths, and the one-eighth was colored in. So I'm going to do the same thing I did on the last problem, and I'm going to break that colored in part into thirds. And again, our problem is one-third, so I'm going to color that area in. And then I'm going to break my other areas into thirds. And just like before, I'm going to count up my total. And again, I'm going to start with the one that we just colored in. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 total parts. And one of them represents my answer. So 1 24th is my answer when I multiply 1 8th times 1 3rd. On the next slide, I have three problems that I want you to go ahead and do on your own. You're going to pause the video and solve these three problems and then restart it to find out the answers. Hopefully you paused the videos and now you can see your answers up on the screen. If you had any problems with this, make sure that you go back and rewatch the video and take notes on the fraction circles. Have that in your notes for tomorrow. And now you can go ahead and take the quiz for homework tonight.